This is Hanmi Sim. She's the owner of Hanmi Oriental Food and Gift Shop on State Street in New Haven. She's talking to one of her regulars who comes here often to buy her homemade kimbap. Yeah, kimbap. So down. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> this you broke it. Oh, broke I'm sorry. It. It's okay. It's okay. Well loved by local residents, Hanmi Oriental Food and Gift Shop is a go-to place for many to buy imported snacks, ingredients, and cultural items. Others might choose to visit Hong Kong Market, Oriental Pantry, or Million Asian Market instead. The owners of all of these Asian grocery stores came from abroad more than 20 years ago. Despite the difficulties posed by the pandemic, they've each found ways to survive and thrive in the Elm City. I came to New Haven 1978. Okay, and uh, when I came here, my husband was a student. And also, I studied at the Southern, yeah, I was a student also. And when I came here, I, our plan, we just want to finish our study and want to go back to my country, Korea. But uh, I think that is uh, my plan, but the God plan is different. <laughs> During the pandemic, Kim had to let go of her part-time helpers and cut down on the store hours. Adding to her struggles, the store was broken into and robbed in March. It was community spirit that helped her pull through. Yale students Lauren Kim and Kaylee Estoesta set up a GoFundMe which raised more than $17,000 to support the store. I thought this is just the only grocery and the little small mom and pop's little small grocery. But my community, they, they think not only grocery, but also they love this place. They want me to keep for forever because this is the oldest uh, Asian groceries. Being Asian American myself and coming to Yale, um, the kind of lackings oftentimes in some of like our culinary options or like our grocery items has um, definitely been a struggle. But you know, coming to Orange Pantry and like having everything I need there is like always a comfort for me. Community support has also been crucial to the success of Million Asian Market in Ninth Square. So to the 43 night. Laurie Shu and her husband, Zhu Yong Wang, have been married for 36 years. They moved from Beijing to New York to seek a better life. Later in 2009, they came to New Haven to start their own business. You know, first, uh, first year and the second year, my business uh, not really good, you know, the people and the Chinese, American customer are helping me a lot. My business is making me so busy, it's crazy, I'm not thinking about that. I just, I just want to do my business. Before, we were working very hard, me and my husband too, working in the morning, 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. All three store owners pride themselves on bringing a slice of the world to New Haven. New Haven is a lot of international flavor. I love them, you know. I would like to introduce the Korean food and Korean culture to the New Haven area. This is not only a grocery store. This is a grocery store and restaurant, but and also cultural center. This is, yeah. This is a lot of uh, international students to come, so I'm very proud of the <laughs> this place. Yeah. New Haven people nice, very nice and quiet. I love it because I'm Chinese. I want to sell Asian, Asian something. I have to product for Chinese people, Asian people something, right? It's for Yale students something. They come from China. Some they still like uh, the Chinese food, right? This is a Korean is the uh, clothes. This is a hanbok. The beautiful is the color, and beautiful is the clothes. It's a slow, slow is the music. Some kind of arirang, arirang is the yeah, is a Korean music. My favorite Korean food is bibimbap. I'm serving seven vegetables over the rice and egg and sometimes uh, tofu or beef if they like. It looks very pretty and nutritious. 
and yummy, <laughs> tasty. <laughs>